Hey, this is We've Been Drinking MMA. We are breaking down and predicting UFC Fight Night Lewis versus Almeida. And this fight is between Chao Baralo uh, versus Abus Magomedov. This is backhand. Uh, my pick is Chao Baralo. My name is Chao Baralo as well. Um, he's minus 270, $270 to profit 100. So he's he's a massive favorite. Pretty, pretty Even massive. Abus is actually a really good striker. Abus is pretty so, dangerous, isn't he? Um, as far as Magomedov, he's very tall and lanky. His last fight, he got KO'd in the second round versus the champ, Sean Strickland. Abus, yeah, Magomedov got KO'd because he gassed. Yeah, he get first that's, round. He that's won. The, that's you know? like the only reason why he lost. That is, I mean, like he was kicking, leg kicking Sean. He was sniper aggressive with those kicks. The punches, way. like pow, you know, pow, and Sean pow. sometimes had, used to have a habit a little bit more of kind of walking into some punches, and 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 Avis hit him with some good punches. Yeah, man. very very. It was shaky very, in the first you round. You could tell, like you could hear it, like yeah. When you hear a good punch or a good kick, you hear like how good it is. Like, Listen, ah. a- Abus Magomedov has power in all of his punches and and kicks, but his kicks, I would say, his kicks are are, are pretty deadly. Like the leg kicks, he really like throws with with a lot of power. Yeah, and he's a big guy, you know, for one eighty five pounds, tall, but lanky. Ultimately, in this fight, he even has a three three inch uh, reach advantage against Chao Baralo and a four inch height advantage against Chao Baralo, but. Again, like we said, the problem with Abus Magomedov is he's a one-round guy. You know, like uh, you know, in his last, uh, let's say, four, three, four wins, three. Let's say out of his last three wins, two of them are in the first round. So he's really good in the first round, and then the other fight was in the second round. He he submitted uh, Cesare uh, Sesic. But so look, I mean, he's three and one in his last four. Obviously, he lost to the champion, and it was a short notice fight. Obviously, the gas tank is not going to be there. But the problem is, is that it's how he lost in the first yeah. round. He did good with the leg kicks. He went forward, but ultimately, when he got pressured by Sean Strickland in the second round, that was a problem because Abus Magomedov is is just slower. Or he's pretty slow at backing up, and so he's straight good, back going forward. He, you know, he's pretty fast, but going backward, man, he is exposed. Man, he's slow. He loads up on his counter punches, which is is not what you want to do against a guy who's who's fast like Chao Baralo in this matchup. Yes. It's all bad. He also yeah. didn't have much of a chin. He got hit like a, a few times by Sean Clean, and all of a sudden, Abus was like in danger, like major danger, and Sean Strickland didn't even do that much damage, to be honest. And, and I'm not even talking trash. Listen, Sean Strickland literally even said it wasn't me, Abus Megamedov quit in there. And Sean wasn't talking trash. Sean was just telling the truth that, listen, don't get credit me the victory. Abus didn't. Uh, you know, have the chin and, and he just kind of quit with the gas tank. He didn't want to fight and that's why Sean won. So ultimately that's the point is that Chao Baralo is faster than Abus Magomedov. Yeah. Um, he, he's on a 13 fight or 12 or 13 fight win streak with a four fight win streak in the UFC. And uh, even though Abu's uh, kicks are really aggressive and mm-hmm. have power, power, power. Uh, Chao's kicks have intention hey man, as well. They got power too, but yeah. he's just maybe a little bit less power, yeah, than Abus Magomedov, but he's got a better arsenal. Yeah. He's got better, faster movement. More, He's more elusive. When he when he, when he he's moving around, he's got great... He reminds me of Leona Machida when he when he dances around. Oh. And it's like hard to hit him, and then all of a sudden he he like leaps in with... He's a southpaw, and he likes to like leap in with like a, uh, um, you know, a right hand, like a right hook, step in right hook, and he lands with that. He's got really good leg kicks. He can take you he down. He has those wild knees. Yeah, man. Um, he's got good combinations, um, and uh, you know he finished his last opponent, Michael Olek Sajak, with submission in the second round. For you know he was on a three fight uh, win streak th- in the UFC. He had three wins in a row, and they were all unanimous decisions. And people were saying, yeah, you know, I think you know people were thinking you know he was not a, a finisher, and all of a sudden you know he finishes Michael Olek Sajak in his last fight, and he goes up to the camera and he's like. Put some respect on my name. I finish yeah, people, you he, know, a few choice not, curse words. Not, <laughs> not those exact words, but you can fill in the blank where it needs to be. Yep. And uh, listen, Chao Baralo is a guy who, who who he's he can throw combinations, but he's really elusive with his movement. Hard to hit, hard to find, fast movement, and he can time you with a punch. He leaps him with a straight punch. You just don't really see the punches coming, so he can really hurt you when you don't see it coming. Dangerous in that way. And on top of that, you know, he is good going forwards and backwards, which is super important in this fight. You know, you need to be good at countering and going forward and throwing combinations and leg kicks and and body kicks. And having angles when you're going backwards, too. Yeah, so... Ultimately, um, you know, he can he can he can take you down and change up the whole fight and just take you down to the ground um very quickly. He that can u- change the game. He can change the game with that. Um so ultimately 
Baral is a guy who's always moving, whereas Abus is not moving as fast and as oh, much. Yeah, Baralo's pace is really, you know, really impressive. Abus is more loading up on punches, and Chow is looking to move around and time you. And that's a beautiful thing to see uh, play out. So uh, that's that's basically it. You know, um, you know, uh, uh, Abus doesn't have that much of a chin. His gas tank is suspect. Baralo's faster. Baralo's more experienced. Baralo's on a 13 fight win streak. He can fight going forwards and backwards. He can put people away. He can take you down, strike with you, time you, kick you, whatever he wants to do. This first it's round amazing. in this fight is gonna be amazing. Yeah, first round is gonna be super fun. Yeah, get the get the popcorn right. Get the popcorn. Um, and I I do also want to say that Chow Baralo's defense is underrated. He gets up that that hand tight on his uh, when you're when, against punchers, and he knows yeah. how to block at the perfect time. He is actually really good at defense, and that's why he's on a 12 fight win streak, not just his offense. I just wanted to say that, not just his speed and offense, but his defense yeah. is better than Abbas Magomedov handily so i think it's going to be a great fight but ultimately chabarello gets the win i think hey, minus 270 I'm picking as well so. i'm switching my pick abis uh right. I'm, I'm, sticking I'm, I'm switching it. no no i'm switching it no i'm, I'm messing around no i'm it's going too late. Ch- too late too late no we're going with barallo here uh pre- appreciate you uh listening and please like subscribe and comment thanks everybody youtube algo